welcome back to my channel. So I thought it'd be fun to show you guys today a day in a life as a graphic designer and not as a freelance one, but as one for an individual company. So I thought that'd be a fun routine to show you all. So I wake up in the morning um, and the first thing I do is I head over to my desk and I start working on some morning habits that I'm trying to build. So I'm really trying to start doing these habits every day. Um, I think that doing it every day, you know, it really builds it into your routine. And so I start off with my five minute journal, which I think is a really great way to get yourself into a good headspace and positive thoughts to start the day. It's a bit of a gratitude journal and I like setting myself up for a good day to start. The next thing I do is go to my Notion. So I get out my personal laptop where I have my Notion list on there. And I like to go through my habit tracker. So I like to start off with my word of the day. Usually these words, typically you might know them with this app. I'll link the app here for you guys, but I like to take them in each day just because I don't see those words as often. It's good to, you know, refresh your brain on it. I also like to take down news events. Um, from different apps and so this just to let you guys know this is my work week on Monday Wednesdays and Fridays so it looks a bit different on Tuesday and Thursdays because I have a bit of a hybrid week where Tuesday and Thursdays I do work downtown in office still and this is kind of my nine to five work week schedule so this is what it looks like working from home so this is typically done before my 9 a.m. meetings and I like to just get my habits out the way so yeah I just take down some news article events and I think this is just a good way to make sure I really do read the news each day and I'm paying attention because I, my brain will check out otherwise, I think, if I'm not taking these little notes down. So I like to do that and then I move on to my to-do list for the day. So this to-do list has to do with um, my work items to start, but I also separate the page and write down my non-work items to do when work is done. So for my work items, um, today I had to create an illustration. It's a bit of a fun illustration today. Um, some graphic design work, which is a little bit more technical. Uh, upload a video that I edited for the company and also compile some footage for a future video. So to start off with the illustration work, I thought this would be a fun way to start my Monday as this, I don't get to do it as often as a graphic designer, I will admit. It's once every blue moon, really, when they need a illustration done, whether it's Christmas cards or this one is a kind of fun prize idea. It's not like an outward facing illustration that's going to clients, but more for um, employees in the company. So the idea with this one, it's actually changed quite a bit from what I'm looking at here, uh, but I created a bit of a bobblehead. So that figure is gonna change actually. It's not, I didn't keep it that way based on my manager's um, idea of it being a bit more of a bobblehead. And then I kept the background the same and someone's face was gonna go on top of that, an employee that did well. And my illustration tools, I linked on the screen for you guys as well, my Procreate app. Uh, the iPad was, I think, seventh gen for me and um, an Apple Pencil. And yeah, that's all I use for my illustrations, as you guys know, for my art videos, but that's also all I use for my more creative kind of illustrations for the company I work for as well. So yeah, it's kind of more freehand than if you were to do it on Illustrator where it's a bit more, you know, technical graphic design work. But yeah, I just finished up the background and everything. And then um, I also went to get myself a coffee. I made myself a coffee downstairs. Coffee breaks are definitely needed during the day. Usually I have about two to three to keep myself going. And yeah, I don't know. It's kind of therapeutic making coffee in the morning. I don't know about you guys, but I really enjoy it. So once I had my coffee and I finished up a bit more of the illustration, I took myself for a walk. I try to do this on the days I'm at home, but it was freezing this day and I thought I dressed warm for it. I was kind of miserable as you guys can see, it was very windy and very cold. So once I got back, I did have my lunch. I just did some admin work while I had my lunch, answering some emails getting some little tasks done that I may have neglected while I was working on the illustration in the morning. And so, yeah, I just like to have a quick little easy lunch while I'm at home most days and finish up some of my emails here. Then I pulled out my personal laptop um, because I do find a lot of the YouTube editing I find I prefer to do on my personal laptop. I had this video kind of previously edited though. As you can see, it's actually in Premiere on my work laptop. Oh, my computer is struggling to encode this video. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna take a minute before it can go on YouTube. The fan sounds like an airplane about to take off. I don't know if you guys can hear that. 
with this computer. My work computer does not like processing videos. <laughs> but I had to export it and yeah, um, get it uploaded for my company's YouTube channel. Once that was done, I got to do some graphic design work. I couldn't really show you guys any detailed look at this as it's more technical and it was based on some things at work that, you know, I don't know if I could really reveal. Um, and that one usually takes me quite a bit, but my graphic design tools that I use is Adobe Illustrator for the most part and sometimes Photoshop. And I think the really important part is that I do use my work laptop when working with these graphic design tools, but when I'm working on my personal stuff, I do prefer my new laptop, which is the new MacBook Pro 14 inch, um, as it just runs really smoothly. I think these ones with the M1 chip set, it's just so smooth sailing, like the video editing, working on any Adobe, products, I really do recommend getting a laptop like that if you're a graphic designer as things run a lot more smoothly and seamlessly, definitely worth the price. And then to wrap up the day, once I've finished up that graphic design work, I usually start taking notes down on what I haven't completed or what I need to work on the next day. And I find this is a really good way to like decompress for the last half an hour of the day and just make sure that, you know, everything's in order for the next day. And that is my short and sweet kind of video on everything I do in the day at home for a graphic designer. I know it's not the most exciting thing. I'm sitting at my desk most of the day, but I wanted it to be very realistic for you guys and take you along with me. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you all in my next one.